Okay. This is good. So again, uh, good afternoon to everyone and welcome to our end polio breakout session. My name is Ricky Andres, Zone 10A incoming and polio coordinator, and I will be your facilitator for this session. With us is our resource speaker, our end polio now coordinator, Past District Governor Mayan Solomon, who was recently appointed to be a member of the International Polio Plus Committee. As your facilitator, my job is to promote discussion, ideas, experiences, and thoughts. We will be learning from each other. Bringing people together in a pl platform like this is a very powerful and it only works if you will participate. I want to see a show of hands and I will also be calling on you as well from time to time because we want you all to be heard. With us is our tech support, Rotarian Secretary-elect Tope Legunas, and he is from the Rotary Club of Cebu Puente. So may I request all of you to introduce yourselves one by one as I call you on according to how I see on my screen. So please unmute yourself and tell us your district number, position, full name, and your Rotary Club then take note, mute your microphone immediately afterward. So I will begin with myself. I am from District 3860 and I am the incoming and polio, Deputy and Polio Now Coordinator Ricky Andres and I am from Rotary Club of Central Butuan. Gomean. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm from District 3860. I'm your NPOLIO Now Coordinator for Zone 10A and member of the International Polio Plus Committee, Mayan Solomon from the Rotary Club of Cebu Fuente. So next, from uh, Ino Russell. Hi, good afternoon. Um, I'm from District 3830 and member of the district polio chair with um under cp sweetie gardener and i'm from the rotary club of brazil west thank you and thank good you. afternoon and let's move to incoming district rotary foundation chair uh, nelson dogs nelson as thank you very much um be an intruder in this group and be at the, the analyzing reports. But just the same, I was governor last uh, year, 2019-2020, and I'll be sitting down this Rotary year and maybe three years uh, more as the Rotary, the, the district Rotary Foundation coordinator or chair of District 38. From the Rotary Club of Wak a 102 member club in the state of data. Thank you, Gob Nelson. And let's move to DPC Sweetie. Please unmute yourself. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, yes, I am a CP Sweetie Gardener, the incoming. Uh, District Polio Chair from District 3830 and on the Rotary Club of Circuit Makati. Good afternoon. Okay, so let's move to Past uh, President Leti Reliera. Hello, good afternoon. I'm Past President Leti Reliera of the Rotary Club of Muntin Lupa North. At present, I'm part of the team of the End Polio under. Uh, PP Sweetie Gardener. Oh, thank you. And let's move to DPC Cora. Uh, hello, from District 3810, incoming District Polio Chair, Cora de la Rosa from the Rotary Club of Chinatown, Manila. Thank you, DPC Cora. And let's move to incoming District and Polio Now Coordinator, Arnel Abrenica. 
di PCR. Yeah, all, I'm a uh, as, as district secretary of the Prerica of District 370. I'm an incoming district and polling now chair. Thank you. Thank you, uh, DPC Arnel, and let's move to DPC uh, Linda Caragos. Uh, hello, a pleasant digital afternoon to all of you. I'm Rosalinda Caragos, past assistant governor of District 3870. I'm the incoming Polio Plus uh, District Coordinator from the Rotary Club of Kage and the Oro East Bourbon and All Ladies Club. Okay, thank you, DPC Linda. And let's move to uh, the EPNC Kenneth Banluta. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. I am Kenneth Banluta, the incoming uh, NPOL UNAU coordinator for the Rotary of District 360 organization from the Rotary Club of Central Butuan. Thank you, Kenneth. And let's move to DPC Lourdes Lo Kapili. DPC Lo. No one else. Okay, uh, we will go back uh, later to DPC Lo. And let's move to DPC Alain. Good afternoon, everyone. I cannot turn on my camera because I am in my cave right now. Big sabihin, I am in my operating room. So, pasensya na kung wala akong video. I'm, this is my second year as a deputy polio coordinator for District 3860. I'm Alain Sanerpida of the Rotary Club of Cebu Puente. Thank you. Thank you, DPC Alain. And we have also here... Uh, Past President Isabelita, please introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Isabelita Villanueva of RC East, East Past President, the Champion President. Thank you. Thank you. And we also have here uh, DPC Carla. Hi, good afternoon, everyone from uh, District 3790. I am Carla Espinosa. Uh, district Polo Chair, it's my uh, third uh, year as a DPC. Thank you. From the Rotary Club of Central Pampanga. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, DPC Lou. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. I'm District Polo Chair Lou Capilli from District 3770. Uh, I'm the, uh, it's my fourth year as DPC, and I'm glad to meet you all. Good afternoon. Thank you. And next is DPC Jun. DPC Jun. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ricky. Good afternoon, PDJ Mayan. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, sorry, I cannot turn on my camera. I'm on mobile, driving, uh, maybe a little bit. After 30 minutes, siguro, babalik ako online. So, uh, I'm Jun Kwan from the Rotary Club of Sambuanga City, District 3850. That's all po. Okay, let's move to DPC Baste. DPC Baste, are you here? Okay, wala pa siya. Then let's move to uh, past assistant governor, uh, Fe Habuneta. Please introduce yourself, please. Okay, so uh, please, uh, after all the introduction, I hope uh, I did not miss everyone. So. Uh, let us have our first pictorial. Please open your videos. And this is also uh, proof of your attendance to this session. So kindly open your video, please. Tope. Ready? Ready? One, two, three, smile. Everyone, one, two, three, smile. 
Thank you. Okay, thank you, Tops. And uh, to all our participants, please know that you are in a safe place. So you will only be interacting with your fellow Rotarians and Rotaractors. And to fully maximize this session, we have some guidelines. Number one, please turn on your video whenever possible. And we want you to be in the gallery mode. All participants should mute themselves unless they are talking. This is a recorded session, so all your answers are recorded for future reference. To answer a question or join in a discussion, participants should raise their hand to indicate that they would like to speak like this. And please bring your hand close to the camera. So you may use also the raise hand feature in the reaction icon found below so I will not miss anyone who raised their hand. So if anyone loses the connection, please re-enter the session by following the same steps he or she used to join. Thank you. Now, uh, Tope, can you show our learning objectives? And may I ask uh, for a volunteer to read our learning objectives? Yes, uh, I see uh, DPC Carla uh, raising her hand. So please, uh, DPC Carla, kindly read our learning of objective, please. DPC Carla. Sorry. Uh, for our learning objectives, at the end of this session, you will have more ideas from the sharing of successes and challenges of polio on how to raise awareness, on how to raise funds, how to promote the polyplast society. Okay. Thank you, uh, DPC Carla, for uh, reading our learning objectives. Now, uh, I would like to invite our resource speaker to enlighten us once more. Again, in our polio standing, I would like to call our resource speaker, our EPNC PDG, Mayan Salomon. Hello, good afternoon again to everyone. And thank you for joining this polio breakout session. Uh, those who attended yesterday's morning session, I enlightened all of you on the polio updates, but nevertheless, for purposes of discussion, it is a focused discussion, and I'm very happy that our incoming deputy and polio now, Ricky, accepted and is stepping up to be our facilitator today. So I'd like to show just one slide on how your districts are doing. Now, Tope, please show this slide. This is your polio standing as of May 22, 2020. So please take a look. The first column is your district where you belong. And the, the funds raised ending last year, that's June 30 of 2021. The next column is the polio goals which your district governor reported to RI. So that's your conservative polio goal. Now the next column would be the amount so far that your district has raised. You will notice that there are arrows, red and green. So this red arrow is actually comparing the amount to last year's amount. So for example, uh, the red arrow of 3770, uh, though they have raised 41,685 compared to last year of 55,857. They are still below that amount of last year. But let's say we still have at least uh, more than a month to go before the end of the year. So we can still catch up. And please take note that this column also, we'd like to congratulate those districts with green arrows because it's not yet the end of the year and yet they have already exceeded what was raised last year. So District 3790, they already uh, raised $61,024 compared to last year ending at $58,186. 
for District 3820, you have already raised $91,792 compared to the end of last year of $32,335. And then District 3830, you have raised already $69,556 compared to last year's of $44,781. And District 3850, you have already raised $52,062 compared to last year of $17,000. $888. I'd like to point out, as mentioned last uh, yesterday, that the surprise fundraiser for this year is actually the Polio Plus Society. So, for example, the first Rotary Club that held its charter induction for this Rotary year is District 3850. The amount they raised of $17,888 was actually the highest all-time high in polio giving for the history in their district. And lo and behold, right now they have $52,062 and about $30,000 plus is coming from the Polio Plus Society, where each member gives $100 per year until polio is eradicated. And we're hoping that polio will be completely eradicated in 2026. Why 2026? It takes three years with zero cases before WHO will declare the remaining endemic countries of Pakistan and Afghanistan to be polio free. And then the world will be declared polio free. Now, another source of polio funds that we're looking at in the remaining days until the end of the year are the non-giving clubs per district. Before that, let me congratulate District 3800 and District 3850. All the clubs in their district gave to polio. So palakpaka naman, I would like to do a testing, please. Press the reaction button and the clap button. So District 3800, Congratulations, District 3850, congratulations. Now, the other districts have a number of clubs, none giving yet. So that's 3770 with 12 clubs, 3780 with 63 clubs, 3790 with 18 clubs, 3810 with 67 clubs, 3820 with 11 clubs, 3830 with 31 clubs, 3860 with 19 clubs and 3870 with 12 clubs. So this is the data that I could present and I'm really excited for the exchange of ideas, best practices, successes and challenges for the Polio Plus program. Back to you, Ricky. Uh, thank you, Gobmean, and for the uh, very informative presentation of the achievements of uh, every district in our zone. And I would like to congratulate all the uh, four districts, uh, 3790, 3800, 3830, and 3850, and also for the 3850 for the highest uh, all-time high. And of course, for 3820 and 3850 for uh, the achievement for uh, with all clubs giving to polio. So now uh, to our participants, uh, since we have three important matters to discuss, our learning objective, and that is to raise awareness, raise funds, and to promote our po Polio Plus Society. So each topic, uh, we have uh, 30 minutes uh, per topic, so we can cover anything. I hope we can cover everything and go back to the main room on time. So I would like to remind all of you that uh, the Rotary's advocacy is to end polio now. So imagine we can end polio now. So that is our topic for today. So to start now, can anyone, uh, we would like to start uh, to settle first our learning objective and that is raising awareness. So anyone can share the best practices in their club and district on raising awareness for polio. You can raise your hand so that uh, I can see you. Uh, can anyone can share the best practices in their club and district on raising awareness for polio? Anyone? 
Okay. Uh, I see uh, DPC Carla Espinosa from District 3790. DPC Carla, take yes. it away. Uh, yes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, again. Uh, for the raising awareness, our district, um, with, uh, with the support of other clubs, um, our... I know, I will go. Um, what of... Hi. Yes. May ano lang, may... My voice lang, my voice over. Okay, go on. Uh -uh. Um, one of our best practices in raising awareness is uh, we do a campaign through uh, local media. Um, then uh, by also um, another thing is uh, through uh, the RHU, the uh, Rural Health Unit, uh, we do a uh, campaign, uh, especially uh, during the pandemic. We campaign uh, through uh, uh, through the uh, help of the RHU at uh, the importance of vaccination. We do house to house uh, and um, uh, motivate uh, other um, uh, parents uh, uh, for their uh, children to be vaccinated to polio. That's one. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, DPC Carla, for your uh, inputs on raising awareness. So by uh, coordinating with the media, so that's a good um, raising awareness. So anyone? Okay. Or you may want me to call on you uh, based on the, on the screen. So may I call... DPC Linda. Okay, from our end, the Rotary Club of uh, uh, the District 3870. Uh, we usually have a, a what's this? A program, a parade, and then a program on, on a polio plus with our health officer as our uh, here in our district as our um, speaker. And then we also hold Zumba after that. And then uh, there is also a club, uh, three clubs in our district who have radio time of one hour. Uh, every month. Okay, that is uh, media. Uh, yeah. Media platform or radio, uh, radio, yeah. uh, okay. And best uh, of all, Best of all, we have invited Governor Mian to be our speaker during the this task. So now almost all of the Rotarians know about Polio Plus and how to donate. Okay, thank you, DPC Linda. And how about uh, DPC Arnel? Uh, yes, actually, on, the, on our last uh, Empolio Day, we uh, asked one of uh, our Rotary Club boss club to host uh, that event. And we, uh, in our Rotary Center, we put uh, uh, ads uh, and, uh, a, and a, a, deposit, uh, a booth. And after that, we uh, and end up in uh, making a doing a motor thing in all the in Quezon City. Okay, thank you, uh, the incoming district polio coordinator Arnel, for your inputs on raising awareness. And how about uh, DPC Sweetie? <laughs> Yes, good afternoon. Uh, in our Rotary at the Rotary 3830, uh, we, we yearly we have this beaming at the big globe of MOA, of Mall of Asia. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, the beaming in the big globe of Mall of Asia. And then we also have billboards uh, along Magallanes and some of the parts of uh, EDSTA. Uh, near near Makati mostly, and we hold uh, posters at the back of uh, buses, 
especially somewhere in Alabang. Um, also, if if ever the Miss Earth International is held here, we usually ask them to make the the uh, polio and figure, and then we make uh, posters out of them. That's it. Thank you. Uh, you're muted, sir. Uh, you're muted. Vic, so, unmute yourself. All right. Okay. Uh, thank you, DPC Sweetie. And this is all about uh, displaying our uh, billboards, no? And also be uh, our the globe in smx moa is beaming our end polio logo so this uh was on our polio summit before polio summit uh, actually and participated by uh the 10 district in the philippines so that is good uh dpc sweetie and you know we want you to be heard so from time to time uh, i will call you and ask you for this uh for our learning objective so um what what new strategies are you planning for Rotary Year 2022 and 2023? And I want to ask our incoming district polio coordinator to answer this. What are your, your strategies or planning for Rotary Year 2022 and 2023? So I would like to start with uh, DPC Rami Garcia from District 3800. DPC Rami. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, so basically, I think the the way to to uh, do this is we have a new we have a project that's coming up with the uh, with the rotary logo that I'm planning on putting as one side is going to be an updates on 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 projects plus polio, uh, whatever updates there are that we can put there. It's it's going to be at like every month it's going to change the the whatever is going to be posted in that in that particular uh rotary marker or area with the side with the ha half of it is going to be polio for polio so it changes every month or whatever the the highlight of the the, the polio has has, have, has given or has come up with then we put it there so that's that should be a, that should create a lot of traffic uh and and visual and uh it will be very very visible Basically, that's what I have for now. The, uh, we still have to to uh, meet with the team so that we can come up with the, with, with more strategies to come to for to be able to be successful in what we're doing. Okay, uh, DPC Rami, having a rotary marker that is also a good public image uh, campaign, especially when you are uh, branding compliant. So let me remind all of you, the district polio coordinator, to be reminded on our branding. And of course, you can see, or you can ask maybe to pick and put in our chat box uh, where we can find the rotary branding. To pay, maybe you can put in our chat box so that uh, the district polio coordinator will uh, know where to go uh, to, to for our uh, branding compliance. So let's move to uh, next DPC, incoming DPC, Cora De La Rosa. Are, are your, can you share the, your district's um, strategies or plan for this Rotary year? Thank you. Uh, the uh, strategy that I had in mind, which is subject, of course, to the approval of the uh, PRFC chair of District 3810, uh, is to, uh, to have at least uh, a club uh, donating $1,500 and then uh, if possible to have a zero non-giving to polio clubs and uh, to continue with the uh, Polio Plus Society. We now have 102 uh, members and if we could uh, get at least even 25% of the uh, members of District 3810, that would be a great boost in order to uh, uh, to have the sources of funds for polio. And then I would also um, campaign for a $10 per 
for Rotarian to contribute to polio. And uh, okay. finally, maybe we could think of uh, a, a fundraising to sell some some items like what uh, uh, Rams Riaco did last year. So I hope uh, with these um, sources of funds, goals, we can make a very good uh, Rotary year 2022-2023 for District 3810. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, DPC, incoming DPC Cora. So you are talking of, about uh, fundraising. So yeah, that will be our uh, second uh, learning objectives and we will be uh, talking that later. And next, uh, we can see, I can see uh, DPC Baste. Uh, can you share your strategies or plan for this Rotary year, DPC Baste? DPC Baste, are you here? I think wala siya. So, okay. Uh, to DPC Alain in District 3860. Uh, Doc Alain is doing OR. <laughs> Naka-opera, but he's listening. Oh, okay, Gov. Uh, thank you. And how about... Okay. Uh, so, how about... District 3830 in Russell, is he a incoming district polio coordinator or not? Si Sweetie, or... same district with Sweetie. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. She's here as an observer. Yeah. So... I can... Okay, and, okay, we will go back to yeah. the business, Sweetie. Actually, uh, okay, okay, I'm answer. Okay. Yes, uh, for 3830, actually, we're still a coordinator. Uh, uh, fixing the finalization, but I uh, I have suggested to have an infomercial of uh, polio for awareness. It's going to be a sixty seconder because uh, in 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 my club per se we have this PSA, a public service announcement, uh, which has been going on for several years already, and it was successful. Um, come through through nationwide, I mean. It was nationwide, and I think that would be included in the next uh, road per year, the informational of polio, plus uh, uh, plus the usual material campaigns. So far, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, DPC. Uh, sweetie, now uh, can we hear from... Uh, DPC Carla from District 3790, can you share with us? Yes, for, yes uh, uh, for District 3790, uh, what we will be doing um, is um, first, uh, our goal is to have uh, this all time high in order to, uh, for the last, uh, for last year, we are all time high and all time high, and this, uh, for this Rotary year, we already surpassed the last year's um, uh, the last year's um, uh, polio plus contribution, and for this coming Rotary year, uh, we are aiming also to uh, be uh, the all-time high in the district. And our strategy is to first uh, we will have the fundraising for the World Polio Day. Uh, we will have a district-wide. Um, uh, district-wide uh, fundraising, which is the move to end polio, uh, we will be selling. Um, we will be selling uh, T-shirts, and the proceeds of which will be uh, will be donated uh, to polio for those individuals, uh, Rotarians who will um, participate. And then we'll have. Uh, we will increase also our Polio Plus Society members. We have two hundred fifty-six, and we are targeting five hundred for the next three year. And um, to increase our uh, all giving um, uh, hundred percent Polio Plus giving club, and also the one thousand individual uh, members, and we will also increase those. Um, clubs giving 1,500. And of course, we will uh, promote still the, of course, in order for the members uh, to donate, we will promote the advocacy of Rotary to end polio. Thank you. 
Wow, that is great, uh, DPC Carla. Now let's move to our second uh, learning objective, and that is to raise funds for polio. So to start, anyone uh, who can share uh, your best practices on fundraising uh, for polio. So, sino pang hindi ko natawag? So, yan. There I see uh, DPC Arnel Abrenica from District 3780. Yeah, uh, we already talked about to the, to the approval of CRFC. Uh, we already, uh, we will schedule a goal for the end polio and the procedure of this will go to the end polio. And secondly, uh, uh, the, the goal will be uh, headed by one of our district governor and his president. So, uh, because um, you know, in Kansas City, we have a lot of uh, golfers. So this is an opportunity to uh, raise funds for and for them. Secondly, uh, we will have a fundraising dinner for the Empolio. So uh, we will sell tickets and uh, to uh, Rotary and some, some, or, or, uh, and some friends. And the proceeds of this, uh, we will uh, we will bring banda or cigars. So the proceeds of this will go to uh, uh, employer. Thank you. That's all. Oh, okay. Thank you, uh, Arnel Abrenica. You so you, you will be for your fundraising. You, as you said, you will be having a dinner for a cause. I am right. Okay, that is a good uh, uh, fundraising to polio. And uh, I hope uh, just to remind you that if, if you have fundraising to polio, please be sure that the proceeds will go to polio. No, so now let's proceed to again to DPC uh, Rosalinda Caragos from District 3870. Uh, can you share with us your best practices on fundraising, uh, polio fundraising? Uh, for this, uh, for next year. Uh, I have talked with uh, the zone one presidents already of, of uh, the club presidents, and there are 14 of them. And uh, one of the fundraisings that they that uh, they said was um, coffee table book. And then um, there's an, a club will still continue selling alcohol and mask. And then there's silent auction and uh, another one is that during their president's birthday uh, they will be instead of in lieu of gifts they will give donation to polio plus uh, that is good uh, DPC. Yeah, we are campaigning uh, no we are campaigning for uh, for the one uh, for polio plus society more of them so we still have 100 polio pins for the polio okay. plus society yeah and we will also increase our uh one the the clubs will give one thousand five hundred dollars thank you uh dpc uh, linda for sharing your best practices on end polio fundraising and that is to have a coffee table book and selling end polio merchandises auction so that is a great uh, uh fundraising for polio how about from the sector 830 again dpc sweetie gardener uh can you give us a uh your inputs on your district and polio fundraising again Ah, yes. Now I have my twins here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, for, for our district, we are planning to have our uh, fun run. Also with our fun, fun run plus walk, that is. Um, plus we are also having a fun ride, the bicycles that is now a fad nowadays for younger, younger generation. And also... Um, for October, we are thinking of uh, a Mardi Gras, sort of a Mardi Gras. After the beaming, maybe we can have a big party. Uh, of course, that is uh, where in some of the highlights will be uh, a Mardi Gras outfit, but promoting polio uh, with, with, at the same time, having it as a fundraising for for polio and i would like also i i am having we have in mind of asking uh, clubs to have their 
promo material sold uh, promoting uh, polio so that whatever they get or raise from it would be donated to the polio fund, uh, fund. So as eliminating the zero giving of clubs to polio. Thank you. Wow, that is very good uh, fundraising, uh, DPC Sweetie. Oh, now uh, let's move to our uh, my classmate, uh, DPC Lo. Uh, I wala siya. So okay, so yeah, meron nandyan. So DPC Lo, can you share with us the uh, your district's uh, and polio fundraising campaign and maybe our incoming district polio coordinator will get some ideas from you. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I'm DPC Lu Kapili uh, from District 3770 Rotary Club of Muchana Santa Maria. For our strategies in polio fundraising, I would like to share with you that for this coming Rotary year, we'd like to increase our clubs donating to 1,500, uh, at least double of the, the clubs who gave last year, and to encourage more individuals to give $1,000. And to encourage more Rotarians, at least all the 2,330 members of this into polio, but uh, we, are, uh, we are still uh, encouraging them to, to Okay, nawawala ka, uh, DPC Lu. She posted in the chat group her connectivity. Uh, for polio uh, plans. And then, uh, we also, we are, for this Rotary, for this coming Rotary year, we are also encouraging our Rotar, Rotarac, Rotarac members to donate also to polio plus. That's all. Thank you. Uh, thank you, the DPC Park, Carla, for your inputs on your districts and polio fundraising campaign. So let's hear again from uh, DPC Cora from District 3810. Okay, I, I think I mentioned earlier our uh, uh, goals for uh, the next Rotary year. Um, like... Uh, we wanted to have a zero non-giving to polio. Right now, uh, for this Rotary year, we have, I think, the, the highest number of clubs that doesn't give to, to uh, end polio. We have 67 clubs. Uh, uh, currently, we have about 2,853 members. And I was thinking that if uh, at least uh, $10 per member, uh, that would be uh, more than enough to have a zero non-giving club. And then of course also I would like to campaign for a $1,500 per club. And, and uh, those who can afford can also give $1,000 per member. And to continue with the Polio Plus Society, which has been started by PP, uh, past President Rams. Uh, as I have mentioned earlier, we have about 102 to date. And I hope we could increase it at least even to maybe uh, 25 percent of the of the uh, current membership and we will also continue with the promotion items that was started during the time of uh, PDG Auditariela and um, maybe with this we can uh, our status on the polio giving which should be a little bit elevated thank you Okay, thank you, uh, DPC Cora, and congratulations, uh, District 3810, no, for your contributions to Polio, and of course for your uh, Polio Plus Society uh, achievements. Now, uh, I think uh, we have uh, already covered our uh, first and second uh, learning objectives because for this year. Okay, uh, I, I, I see uh, DPC, uh, I, EPNC Mayan raising her hands. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Ricky. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with all what I'm hearing on how to create awareness, how to raise awareness, and how to raise funds. Now, 
you know, when you raise funds or when you raise awareness, we we get the the motivation or the participation from Rotarians when you pat them on the back. That's why in my presentation also yesterday, we are hoping that you can talk to your district governor to consider giving simple certificates. So as mentioned, I, I think it was, um, whose district was that? that ah, Linda, uh, District 3870, during RI President-elect Jennifer's birthday, they will donate to polio to celebrate um, President Jennifer's birthday. So these are simple steps like, uh, I will again enumerate what I mentioned yesterday. If you encourage the Rotarians to donate in July, do not, again, do not let them donate on July 1 because most often it will be credited to the previous year, this year. You ask them to donate a week after mm -hmm. July one, so we will have uh, we won't have any problem in the reconciling of the records. So again, donate in July. So this will be your early bird certificate. So that's one. Uh, this certificate is can it can be e certificate for so long as it's um, signed by the district governor or the D and the DRFC or. And of course, the district polio coordinators. And then aside from that, how to get them to give $10, celebrate one, uh, World Polio Day. Second, celebrate the birthday of your governors. Uh, third, we, I mentioned earlier, celebrate the birthday of President Jennifer Jones in January and celebrate the birthday of Rotary on February 23. You, the, the clubs may want also to celebrate the birthday of their club presidents. That's instead of giving gifts in lieu of gifts, please uh, give to polio ten dollars minimum ten dollars. I'd like to share from thirty eight fifty. Uh, June Kwan is here. Uh, two years ago, when the DPC was uh, Ronnie Gabalda, one of their one of a past president in a club in the polio, really supported polio, and he he passed away. So as part of his legacy, in lieu of flowers, yung yun nakalagay, in lieu of flowers, please donate to polio. And, and his family has been giving a, a minimum amount to polio, which is actually very memorable to all of us. Any amount, at least $10, will go a long way. And this is how we also encourage the participation of the Rotor actors. So ito na na booking tuloy, na huli ko yung isang rotor actor, DRR pa naman, sabi ko, how many glasses of milk tea do you consume in a month? Excited siya, sabi, five gov, five, sabi ko, magkano ba isang baso? Mga 150, sabi ko, wow, five, ito has to, ano to, community based, but not really uh, working, parang ano, casual lang. Five glasses at 150 pesos. Magkano yan? So if you drink five glasses of milk tea per month, eh gawin mo na lang three glasses kaya or two glasses every month para yung budget ng three glasses will go to polio. And you can also do the same to your children or your apo. I have a piggy bank for my apo. So that's where I put a little amount. Yung, yung mga barya, 10 pesos, 10 pesos. Hanggang dadami at the end of the year, by well, not really wait for June, by March, bibi akin ko na yung alkansya for polio. So there are so many ideas on how to raise funds. And I'm just sharing a simple certificate will go a long way. So thank you again. Thank you uh, to our resource speaker, uh, EPNC uh, Mayan, for your uh, insights and ideas on how also we can uh, raise funds for polio. Uh, as you said, uh, to donate uh, on July 2, uh, 
for early birds contributor to give certificates to the early bird contributors, of course, for the governor's birthday, or maybe your club president birthday, or maybe uh, your district governor's birthday and RI president elect Jennifer Jones. No, so there are a lot of uh, ideas on how we can raise funds for polio. So anyone who can share their best practices on raising funds for polio. So can you raise your hand? Okay, there, uh, DPC Cora. Take it away, the floor is yours. Uh, several years ago, I guess I believe in 2013, 2014, at the time of PDG Karen, I was assigned as the um, polio and polio chair for District 3810. And we had this, um, the cans that we play, that we gave for each club. And then some of the cans also went to the uh, establishments that drop a coin. And then we had the timetable. And I think before, before the uh, Rotary Foundation month, we were able to, to take back the cans and with a, with a group on the polio committee we opened all the cans and uh, we we counted all the money that were donated and added it to the cash contribution that we uh, that we got from each rotary club and um, i think if i'm not mistaken we have about uh, 46000 dollars in cash and then um uh, BDG Karen donated about more than 20,000. So the, the total fund then in Rotary year 2013-14 was about $68,000. And it was matched by the Melinda and Bill Gates Foundation. So I believe during that time, that was the highest polio contribution in, in the Philippines. I just want to share the previous uh, experience on fundraising okay uh that is a uh, great dpc linda uh, cora for sharing your previous uh and polio fundraising and maybe how about our uh rotary foundation chair olivia from the 3810 can you share to us the best practices on your district for the and polio fundraising campaign the floor is yours, uh, the, uh, TRF Chair Olivia. Maybe I can ask my other friends to do the same. Whoever uh, have a birthday party, they just uh, minimize the expenses and save for the fun for the polio victims. That's it. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you to your chair, Olivia. Actually, that is a good fundraising also, no? Uh, for giving a gift for the birthday celebrant, no? So, how about, uh, can we ask, uh, since uh, she is in the room, uh, maybe we can ask also a uh, past president, uh, Lenny, Leti Reliera, can you give us your uh, points on talking points on fundraising uh, and polo fundraising from your district, District 3830? Hello. I... Okay, Leti, the floor is yours. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, actually, uh, last year I was in a uh, Paul Harry Society, kaya. Hindi ako masyadong familiar dito sa sa uh, Enpolio. But uh, what we all usually do para mag ma, ano, ang awareness namin, nagpaparade nga din kami which was not mentioned earlier. Nagpaparade din kami all around with a sticker in my in our car. Uh, this year uh, actually it's our head District Chair, Polio Chair, Sweetie Gardener, who has so many plans. Marami siyang mga sinabi kanina, which tutulungan na lang namin siya. Actually, we are only 
part of the team and we are part of the coordinator. <laughs> mas mas alam ko pa ang Paul Harris society eh. Kasi yun na naging ano ko for the whole year um, last year. Sir. Gobman. Yeah. Can I add in? Yes. Ang usapan po namin, actually, um, Pipi Leti, we were thinking um, earlier that she would be the one to make kulet of the society. <laughs> reminding them of their uh, pledges every year. So, may mga ano-ano kami, nagde-designate kami ng mga assignment. Ikaw bahala dyan, ako dito, ikaw doon. Yan po. Actually, okay, uh, may, may, may I bat in again? May I bat in again? Actually, I will use my, the talent that I used to in collecting the, kasi actually, napalaki ko talaga ang increase ng aming ano, sa Paul Harry Society, which is talaga ang hirap mag-collect sa Paul Harry Society. Uh, I will use the talent that I have in that to collecting also for the polio class. Okay, thank you. Wow, wow. thank you, uh, <laughs> Past President Leti. And I hope, uh, okay, Governor I couldn't help but respond positively for District 3830. It's nice to see that you have a team. Uh, I just wanted to comment on your team, uh, DPC incoming DPC Tsuiti. You have um, your pet past president Letty to handle the Polio Plus Society because of her experience as Paul Harry Society uh, chair. And then for Eno, I think Eno also has a specialty, right? So similar to last, I mean, this year, it was um, Ellie who took care of the merchandises. So we encourage, again, with, with this experience of 3830, other districts may consider creating your own team as well. So you may have a team specializing on as, as shared by incoming district polio coordinator sweetie we have past president letty to handle the polio plus society uh ino will be specializing on ano si ino sweetie ino some uh, materials and promotions uh, oh, materials promotions. and promotions good good team that's a good idea thank you very much district 3830 yes Yes, and I can see there are four of them from District 38, ah, three of them from District 3830. No, so speaking of team, so do you know uh, what's the meaning of team? Together, everyone achieves more. So, and our keywords now, the, there is a communication, a co communicate, cooperate, coordinate, and collaborate to each other. So you have a great team you now for uh, this coming Rotary year 2022 and 2023. So thank you for your inputs for the first and second uh, learning objectives now. Uh, we may go to our third uh, uh, learning objectives. And for this year, one surprise fundraiser is the Polio Plus Society, where one gives $100 every year until, until polio is eradicated. Now, how do you think we can promote the Polio Plus Society in our district? You know that this is a surprise fundraiser, the Polio Plus Society. No, so anyone who can share their uh, best practices on how we can promote the Polio Plus Society in our district, uh, can you raise your hands? Okay, so I can see uh, DPC Carla Espinosa from District 3790. Uh, DPC Carla, take it away. Hi, good afternoon again. Uh, for our district, the District 3790, uh, for the Polio Class Society, we have created uh, 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 first our, uh, our um, team, the N Polio team, uh, created uh, another two wheelchair for World Polio Day and the Polio Plus Society. So for our Polio Plus Society, since um, the first um, charter in uh, the last Rotary year during uh, the transforming team, we already have uh, 56 and then another 200 for this Rotary year. And we are targeting 500 for the next Rotary year. 
And for us to be able to achieve our goal, we will be having as early as now, we will promote um, the Polyplast Society to the clubs. Um, and then we will be having our Polyo, uh, Soci Polyplast Society Ball on Feb 25. Uh, there's already a date for that. And, um, and of course, um, uh, in promoting the Polyplast Society, um, we mentioned um, also to the, um, to the clubs uh, that uh, there um, for 100 Polyplast, uh, for, for the 100 Polyplast um, contribution, that will be credited to their Rotary uh, TRF uh, points. And um, so, uh, if there is uh, 400 for the pola, uh, for the annual fund, that 100 will be included as part of the TRF uh, to have a point also for the Paul Harris uh, Fellow. Uh, that's one way of promoting also because uh, other other Rotarians, uh, hindi pa nila alam that the, their contribution for Polyplast Society is included uh, under TRF uh, contribution. Thank you. Okay, uh, uh, APNC Mayan. Yes, I, I just like to emphasize the last statement of DPC Carla. Uh, it is not common knowledge that donations to polio earn points for annual giving for your Paul Harris fellow. So, ang diferencia lang, your polio donation will not go back to you, but it will still earn points for Paul Harris fellow. Okay, thank you. Thank you, DPC Carla, and thank you, EPNC Mayan, for your inputs. Now, uh, anyone uh, who can share their uh, to promote uh, Polyoplast Society in their in your district? Uh, can we ask uh, DPC Arnel Abrenica from District 3780? Yes, you're raising your hand. Yeah, uh, I'll our meeting to our PRFC. Uh, we will encourage all district officers of our district to donate at least $100 to Polio Plus. And maybe we will encourage some Rotarians to instead donate their Paul Harris donation uh, to uh, Polio Plus. As uh, what uh, EPNC may uh, told us, that the donation for the Paul Harris can be uh, 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 transferred to Polio Plus, but still. Uh, 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 be uh, uh, as a, uh, it can be uh, a poly, uh, 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 what do you mean? Uh, uh, Paul Harris Society, you can still a Paul Harris uh, donate that uh, 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 donor. Yes, uh, the uh, anyone, uh, thank you, uh, DPC Arnel for your inputs on promoting Polyplast Society. And okay, uh, anyone who can share also? In your district, uh, District uh, Polio Coordinator Linda Caragos from District 3870, uh, can you share with us uh, how can you promote your best practices? How can you promote the Polyplast Society in District 3870? Uh, actually, Ricky, I have started calling up the club presidents about this, mm -hmm. and uh, and then some of them have already made their pledges. And actually, um, I called for a for a caucus of a, a very short one, but and uh, about twenty came, twenty um, include including three governors and six assistant governors in in my zone zone one so i'm done with zone one so i'll be going to that two three and four for this i have started early 
Wow. Thank you uh, DPC Linda. Uh, no, I believe in uh, no lead by example, walk the talk and as the as the in uh, DPC uh, district polio coordinator, so you need to uh, lead by example, diba? DPC Linda, no? Yes, of course. Yes, and uh, everyone will follow. So anyone uh, from from District 3830, maybe we can hear from uh, Ino Russell. Yes, hi, good afternoon. In our district, uh, from District 3830, um, we are planning already to remind as early as July 1 for those existing members of the Polio Plus Society. And then um, we will also be coordinating with the club presidents and then the end polio chair for the clubs for them to remind and encourage um, additional members of the Poly Plus Society. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, um, um, Miss Ino. No, uh, maybe uh, mo comment lang ko no for as you as you said you will be donating your Polio Plus Society donation on July one. So let me remind you that maybe you can uh, instead of July one you can deposit your payment on July two, but because uh, July one is still a uh, June thirty in. Uh, the U.S. So maybe uh, if you will donate in July 1, it will be credited for this uh, current year, not on this coming rotary year. So uh, maybe uh, just as a suggestion no, uh, for the safety of your deposit, yeah. uh, please donate your contribution on July 2. Yes, and I stand corrected. I, uh, I've mentioned that we will be starting to remind the existing members as early as July, just only for the reminder of the July 1. Okay, thank you, uh, Miss Ino Russell. Uh, anyone? Maybe we can hear uh, from uh, uh, President uh, Tolitz, no? From District. Uh, are you here, uh, President Tolitz? Uh, so, yeah, I can see uh, District 3830 DPC Sweetie Gardener. So. Can you give us your, can you share with us? Yes. Yes. No. No, actually, I was uh, about to tell my team that we, as uh, we should walk, uh, walk our talk that on July 2, that the whole team should donate on July 2. That's all, thank you. Because I'm also a society, polio society member. Wow. Yes, thank you, uh, DPC Sweetie Gardener. Now let's see, uh, we go to District Polio Coordinator Rami Garcia from District 3800. DPC Rami, the floor is yours. Uh, I, well, we, we, in our club, we have started uh, to include in our in our annual dues, the a you know a ten dollar contribution to polio for every member, uh, and this I would suggest to to all, all other clubs, of course, in our district and our zone, so that this is automatically uh, done. So we don't have to you know continuously ask for uh, all the returns to somehow donate ten dollars, or at the same time. Uh, those who are ERA clubs to to donate a portion of their their donation to uh, directly donate a part of the donation to polio so that uh, like those people that are giving a hundred to one thousand dollars a hundred dollars to put aside ten dollars put aside a hundred dollars from their original uh, donation to polio so that uh, it's the polio is also uh, given or you know uh, subsidized from the, from that particular donation so that is uh the plan and also to increase our polio society double uh, double the polio society from from initial uh, i think we have 150 or 200 initially for our polio society so increase that double double that for this year uh so that uh we have more awareness in in our clubs also that's it mm -hmm. Uh, thank you, uh, DPC Rami. 
uh, for your inputs on Polio Plus Society. And now let's move to DPC Lu. Are you here? Okay. So DPC Jun Kwan is still mobiling and IDPC uh, Baste is still not here. So maybe we can ask uh, District 3830, Past President Leti Reliera. Yes, okay. So yeah, DPC Jun Kwan, can you uh, share with us your uh, inputs on Polio Plus Society and how you promote Polio Plus Society in your district? Uh, DPC Jun? Yeah, uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, Secretary. Uh, yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, what, what, we, what we did this year is uh, like what uh, like what PDG Mayan said yesterday. Uh, there we have to ask them to commit the commitment first, and then and then later we'll try to we'll try to ask them uh, have their cooperation for the since the polio is the number one priority of of our. Uh, of Rotary. Then, of course, uh, here comes the communication, frequent communication with the members. Uh, try to tap one uh, to the other until until uh, everybody is is already known uh, about our fundraising. And then, next is the coordination. So proper coordination din ng mga members. Uh, we 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 frequent coordinating them na kumbaga parang yung iba na uh, nagsabi na yung iba nga uh, yung the other people uh rotarians say sa akin na makulit daw so iyan yung ano yun yung isa sa coordination din no so then collaborate then compete then the credibility so uh, uh, at the end in the end, because because of this kulit, because of this ano, the commitment, the cooperation, so forth, we were able to walk the talk uh, for this year. So uh, for this coming year, uh, I think I have I've learned some ano, uh, I have a uh, I have another idea since I say. Uh, I won't be I won't be duplicating my my uh, I won't be duplicating my plans again what I did this year I will do another plan again for this coming year so let's hope now uh, this this coming year's plan will also work because uh, last year uh, we, we were able to to get 800 820 donors out of 1,320 members from our district. So, naka 800 donors tayo. So, this year naman, hopefully, uh, like what, like what, uh, uh, PP Rami suggested, we, we have to, uh, we're, we, we, we will try to integrate the $10 sa ano na, sa, uh, annual dues kasi uh, i think with that with that no yung club i think the club will have a medyo magaan konte na to ask for the ano to ask for the members to to, to donate to polio kumbaga para siyang sa ano na para siyang philippine rotary magazine the other uh, other ano naka integrate na sa sa uh, annual just natin. So maybe that will be also that will also be effective for this year. Yun lang po. Okay. 
Unmute, Ricky. Unmute. Sorry. Uh, thank you, DPC June, for your inputs on Polio Plus Society uh, in your club, uh, District 3850. No? So I hope uh, we answered all your our learning objectives, uh, our three learning objectives, the uh, raising funds, uh, raising awareness, and to promote Polio Plus Society in our district. So thank you so much for your ideas, your input, Inputs, your plans and strategies uh, for this coming Rotary year 22 and 23. And before that, I would like to call our resource speaker, EPNC Mayan. Well, the floor is yours, uh, EPNC Mayan. Thank you very much, Ricky. Before that, I'd like to congratulate you. Job well done as a facilitator. Um, this was his on-the-job training, Rotary style in facilitating where he will ask everyone to recite and he does not give the question. So you get an A plus for that. So I'm evaluating you as a facilitator and to everyone here, congratulations for actively participating, sharing your best practices. And this is just a rehearsal because to the incoming district polio coordinators, our advantage is we meet every month. And remember, though we are uh, geographically challenged, we, we are separated by islands, we come together because we want to end polio. And that is why, um, thank you to June, uh, you listened very well yesterday, we start with our commitment. And because when we, we get our commitment, it's easy for us to coordinate with each other, to cooperate, to consolidate our ideas. In fact, um, in the last years, you've seen us holding polio summits. So this polio summit actually is, is already making it easier for us than just having a webinar per district. The success story of the polio summit this year was when we had all the district governors make their pledges. So it was an easy task for the district polio coordinators to now follow up the pledges of the governor. So we will continue that best practice. Um, we will be going back to our breakout session in a while. We'll be asked to come back. So again, Ricky, you, you were within time. You, you were able to manage the time. All the three learning objectives, you were able to divide everyone and then okay see we have last four minutes meron na tayong alert last four minutes we covered everything and it's nice to know you on our last hurrah let's have our last pictorial so we'll have a lot of photos and we will be sharing it with you Tope, thank you Tope, for being our tech support now and the count of three pet please okay ready one two three smile Another one, one, two, three, smile. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Tope. And uh, P.S., meron akong pahabol. In anything you do, if you need any help, please consult us. Uh, we share ideas. We share some um, templates on our posters. We share also uh, templates on our induction form for Polio Plus Society. I'd like to thank uh, June Kwan here for having a wonderful template for the induction forms. And uh, a credit for yesterday's beautiful um, world, my, my, uh, and Polio, we are the future of the world, was done by Jun Kwan. So that I've been using that video ever since and nakakaantig. It touches so many lives. So thank you very much. Yes, Jun? Oh, I will I will I will do another one this year go. Oh wow. Sige, uh, yeah. another version. All right, that's a challenge. So yun ang gusto natin. So before polio was not given importance, but we have to give importance now. It's crunch time. We have five cases with wild polio case here in the world. We hope to end it soon. So 2026, dapat world polio free na tayo. So thank you, Ricky. Back to you. That's it. Okay. Thank okay. you, Gabriel. A plus.
Wonderful. Yes, uh, before we go back to the main room, and I would like to thank all the participants. It has been a productive session. Thank you to all for sharing all your best practices and plans on raising awareness, raising funds for polio, and how we can further promote our Polio Plus Society. I believe we learned a lot. So, and with so many takeaways. So, in closing, we always remember that Rotary's top priority is to end polio now. So, we need to fulfill our promise to the children to make the world polio free. Remember, we all have dreams. Acting on them is a choice. Paul Harris once said, whatever Rotary may mean to us, to the world, will be known by the result it achieves. Thank you, Gobmean, for serving as our resource speaker. And thank you, everyone, for your presence and participation. Now, uh, okay, uh, we are waiting uh, Jonas to transfer us to the main room. And congratulations to all of us. And see you again for our next uh, monthly coordination meeting. No? So we will update you on our next meeting, okay? Thank so, you. Thank you so much. Good afternoon and see you all at the main room. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Ano ba tayo? Ibu ilipat ba tayo? How is this? Yes, go. we can we can uh, manually uh, leave the room so that we can uh, if oh, we can okay. leave, it will be automatically right. uh, go back to the main room. So if you leave will see at the lower right portion in your screen, you can see a leave room. So you can click that so that you will be automatically transferred to our main room. All Thank right, you. see you in the main room. Bye.